Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I love the colors of fall and it's so great to be able to capture those colors on wreaths. Fall leaves and bright colored t-shirts are perfect to decorate a grapevine wreath. To create my flowers, I'm using my Aline's Fabric Fusion Adhesive. Now this is permanent dry cleanable and it's great when you want to create flowers for wearables that you need to wash and wear or to do your basic crafting like I'm doing on my wreath. At Michael's you will find a lot of different choices of colors for fall with the t-shirts and if you like really bright neon you're going to find that too. I also like to use bandanas for my flowers and this gives a great effect with those fall flowers on the wreath with your fall leaves. There are many different styles of fabric flowers that you can create and I have one technique to share with you. Depending on how you cut your slits in your fabric depends on the finished design. So you can see the straight slits create this design and when you cut it a diagonal you get more of a pin flower effect. Let me show you how to create these. The first thing that you want to do is to cut your t-shirt or your bandana or your fabric into strips. The width of the fabric depends on what size finished flower that you would like to create. I like to glue on the back side of my t-shirts and you will find when you're using your t-shirt fabric that you get those really nice full flowers. You can use your other cotton fabrics like your bandana but it's the t-shirts that create those really full flowers. So I'm squeezing a line of Mylene's Fabric Fusion Glue right along the edge and you can see that I did not cut this piece exact. You don't have to be precise with this. Come back and just draw your glue line if you miss any spots. I'm working on a non-stick surface so that I don't get glue on my work table and then I can easily just use a wet wipe to wipe it up. Just fold your fabric in half and remember if you want a larger flower then you would want to cut your strip larger. This is about an inch and a half wide. So you just fold that strip right in half. If I have any glue on my work surface I do grab my wet wipe, wipe everything clean. So I come back and just check to make sure that everything is glued together and I am going to start cutting. So you can decide how far apart you want these slits. You can put them closer together. It gives you a totally different effect depending on how you want to cut that fabric strip. Keep cutting until you've cut slits all the way down your strip of fabric. I finished cutting all of the slits into my fabric. I've applied my Aline's Fabric Fusion Glue right along the edge. Now we're ready to start rolling. So you just start at one end and keep the fabric on the table because that's going to help you to keep this roll very, very tight. And roll all the way to the end. Be sure that you keep the end of the fabric even. When you come to the end, be sure that you have glue all the way to the end of your fabric and press it firmly in place. And then I like to just press everything back down in case it's shifted. And then you can open up your flower petals. Just leave this to dry completely overnight. Then you're ready to glue these on to your wreath. It is so easy to create these fabric flowers by the dozen. When you want to attach them to your wreath, just use your Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue. This is available in a tacky pack. And glue all of your pieces onto your wreath. And you are all set for fall. The Aline's Fabric Fusion Adhesive and the Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue in the Tacky Pack are available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.